The video is loading up. The ads are finished playing. We're uh, already having a great conversation in the comments. We got Lemur Bricks, Grumpy J, uh, Gary, Morgan, Baby Yoda, Brick Bro. There's Lemur Bricks. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today here on the Atlanta Brick Co. Store Tour Live. The part of the YouTube channel where we just walk around the store, look at all the cool sets, answer questions, and have a great time. So if you have any questions or want to talk about something, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply to it. There's Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Thanks for joining us. Those uh, membership badges looking really good in red. Glad some of you guys have gotten past the two-month uh, time and your badges have upgraded. So that's pretty awesome. Any built Star Wars in the 20% off case? I think Star Wars was uh, skipped for the 20% off this week. However, we've still got some Star Wars in here, I think. So this case is 20% off here. Yep, here's some Star Wars. There we go. That's the $30 Freemaker ship right there. There's some Rey and Kylo Ren. Okay, so I joined late last time, so I made sure to come early. There you go, Baby Yoda. Glad you could make it. You got a Separatist tank. You got a Phasma and a Sith Trooper. So there's a few Star Wars in the 20% off case. The, um... I think there aren't any 20% offs over here today, or this week. Yep. Nothing this week, but we'll probably rotate it again back next week. So let's see. Uh, Scott Robinson says, hey, y'all. Hello, Scott. Thanks for joining the live stream. How much is that built Mac Anthem, says Gary. Let's go find out here. It's a pretty awesome set. So it's $250, $249.99 for the Mac Anthem right there with the cargo behind it. Do you have any Ninjago? We always have Ninjago. Lima Bricks, we've got a whole Ninjago section. Let's go look at it over here, past the Marvel stuff. So here's all the Ninjago. This case here is 20% off. So you got a sale on all the built sets here. And then you got your minifigures, some poly bags, and some sets over here. And then Nexus says, oh, hi, Mark. Hello, Nexus. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. There's Dr. Jaja. He says, hi. Hi, Jaja. I hope you're doing well. How much is the Black Widow promo in Marvel sealed? Oh, let's see, Baby Yoda. Someone was asking about that. Let's see. I thought it was here. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Because the last time I saw it, it was right here, but I'm not seeing it now. Hmm. Oh, no, no, here it is. It was hiding over here. So it's $74.99, so $75 for this very cool set right here. Not a huge fan of those shields, but has some great figures nonetheless. Put that one in a more prominent spot here. Put it right here. There you go. Awesome. Let me see where the comments have gotten to. Any Pirates of the Caribbean sets? We have a few. We have one certified complete Fountain of Youth over in the old Pirates of the Caribbean area here. Down there. That's going to be on our website, atlbrick.com. And then we should have a couple pirate ships floating around in the main areas of the store here, too. So no ships up there now. There used to be a couple ships right up there. There's probably one over this way here. Excuse me, Jeffrey. There's a black pearl right here. That one is a little bit discounted at $399, so $400. That one is missing the figures, that's why it's a little bit cheaper. But it's still pretty expensive. <laughs> and then you've got the Silent Mary up here. It is 275. And I don't see any figures on there. 
So that one looks like it is also missing the minifigures. Let's see, someone else at, said, uh, Brennan said, do you have any built Technic sets? Let's go look in the Technic section here. There's Tegan. He says, hi, Mark. Good to see you, Tegan. Thanks for joining all the way from New Zealand. And hi, Brickheads. All the best from Denmark. Great to see you. Great awakening, Team Denmark. Thanks for joining us. How much was the built Sanctum? Oh, I'm not sure. We'll go look at that in a second, Lamer Bricks. But here is our built Technic case that we've had for a while. We've also got a little bit of Exoforce hiding in here, too. It's pretty nice. Let's see. Um, I enjoyed visiting the store and meeting you and Daniel on Wednesday. Good times. Yes, Nexus. Thank you for stopping by. And you didn't have to ret return Daniel's shoes from the Whatnot auction, but I'm, I'm sure Daniel will appreciate it. He didn't have that many shoes after selling them. I always have to ask, do you have a Darth Revan? No Darth Revan yet, but I will be... You will be the first to know, Dr. Jaja, once we get one in. And we will get one in when eventually. It's just a matter of time. We haven't seen one probably in about a year. Is there a built wall E? I will check, Morgan. Let's, let's ask about that as soon as we're done with Technic. We're also going to have a bunch of built Technic all over the store. You got them just kind of up in the top... Shelf areas, you've got some up there. I think you've even got some over by the collectible sets over here. So lots of good stuff. And I think we're having a lot less technical difficulties today. Hey look, there's Steven on a Friday. He's working on a special creation we can't show him. He's a surprise, that's a commission. So. No, coming back there, all right. Uh, is there a built Wally around? Nope. A few weeks ago we had one, but not anymore. Gotcha, alright. Sorry, Morgan, no Wally right now. Oh, we have a tiny Wally. Who messed up his head? You murdered his... He, he just... Uh, yeah. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, oh, yeah. What's up? What's behind your ears? Uh-oh. What? Whoa, that's a... Blue glue? That's a blue milk glue. Oh my gosh. I knew I should have showered this morning. Good grief. We just got this in today. I don't know why it was behind your ear. Mark always squirrels away the best stuff. Yep, that's that's what that is. This blue milk look, there's this blue milk. Alright, well it's not online yet, but Jay, you wanna put it online now? I will. Joe's gonna put it online right now. Sounds good, Chris. Yeah, we we still have one a few days ago, right? Yeah. Amazing. Right behind my ear too. Crazy. All right. Um, Shane says, hi, Mark. Do you know what the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Lego set minifig is? I don't know. They haven't announced it. You think they're not doing one this year? Yeah. It's probably a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the point. Exactly. Yeah, or or thousands of dollars. Yeah, six thousand dollars for some of them. Yeah. So, as far as we know, Shane, there won't be any. But I wouldn't be that surprised if they tried to surprise us and put something up there. Do you have any Star Wars promos? We might have a few. We'll check on that for you, Baby Yoda. There's Robert Maynard saying hi. Then Nexus saying ha, lol. That was probably in reference to the shoes, the hilarious shoes sales. I'm off to Auckland soon to pick up, picking up 17 kilograms of Lego I bought. Nice. I have no idea how much that weighs because I'm not a big with the metric system, but that's probably a lot. Phase two Rex. We don't have one in, in stock right now, Baby Yoda, but we'll, uh, let me check on the built sanctum for lemur bricks here it's gonna be behind glass right here that is $60 for a built sanctum that's actually a tremendous deal especially with the new one coming out then uh, Scott Robinson says hi Steven I'll let him know you said hi Scott then a uh, great awakening team Denmark says let's get Mark up to 35 likes guys then he puts on the funny clothes <laughs> exactly 
You know the drill, Great Awakening. 35 likes, and I have to go get a Nixonite costume and make a fool out of myself for the next 30 minutes or so. And Gary says, hi, Steven, as well. Where's my anti-Nexo group? Yeah, exactly. Dr. Jaja and me are the only ones who see reality for what it is and realize that Nexonites are terrible. Unless they're custom-made into mocks. That's a good way to do it. Tegan says, hi, Chris. Scott says, hi, Chris. I'll let him know you guys said hi, because we, we kind of breeze through these things. Uh, did y'all get my call? I did not get it, Will Lamb, but I'm, I'm guessing they did. Daniel usually checks the messages every week, but not always. Bad Michael. <laughs> exactly. Is Mark smuggling minifigs? Oh, yes, always. And Breaking Wally. Yeah, that's what happened. Your story is my dream come true. I wish you shop uh, to Lebanon. Oh, ship to Lebanon. Yeah, so there's some countries where it's hard to ship or it's very expensive, so... Hopefully we're able to work that out at some point. So. Do you have built Airshem Celestial? Oh, um, I don't think we have one now. One, one came in in the back, but he's not processed and put out yet. So, Let's see. How about a, a huge Stonehenge Lego set? Pretty cool, huh? That would be cool. I'd buy that. I love Stonehenge. I think it's one of the coolest um, archaeological pieces in uh, the UK for sure. Heck no, Knights. <laughs> I, I like that, Morgan. That might be a t-shirt. The heck no nights. Ella Wallace is Great Awakening. Star Wars polybags. Yes, Baby Yoda, you were asking about promotionals earlier. Let's go look at... Um, we've got some polybags over here by the entrance to my office. How much for the Le Lego Angry Birds pirate ship set? Oh, that's going to be over to our right. We'll go look at that in a second, uh, Brendan. Let's look at Star Wars polybags first. Well, there might not be that many Star Wars here. There are some cool ones, like those great um, Britain exclusives there. Those are kind of British exclusives. You got a Jurassic World, Doctor Wu, Rocket Raccoon, Black Widow. You got Flashback Shredder. You've got the BB-8 from the funky size, the medium size one. You got some superheroes. You got the original Iron Man. You got the Electro. Got the Lego Store employee. That's pretty darn cool. You got a couple of Comic Con figures. Looks like we got another Supergirl back in. Got some Star Wars rare figures there. A few more Comic Con figures. We were talking about these earlier today. I don't know if they're ever going to make any more Comic Con figures now that they're, in theory, holding back. We'll see. There's a Comic Con set with Spider Man and Venom. I wish they'd make Spider Man and Venom brickheads. Built Marvel. We can check that out, Lemur Bricks. We'll be over there in a little bit. Is there a Lego Rogue Shadow at your store? There usually is, but we don't have one right now, FBI. Also, love the name. It's great. Our, our big brother is watching out for us. Can we see Toy Story sets, please? And thanks. Yes. Let's go look at the Angry Birds pirate ship and also see Toy Story on the way uh, after that. Scott Robinson. So. Should I change my name to Nexus Tonight's? <laughs> That would be pretty funny. You know, I don't think I like Nexus to Zach, but whatever you want to do, Nexus to Zach. There's the piggy pirate ship. This is a hundred dollars for a certified complete one, which is a pretty good deal. How much is a sealed one? I love the tan sail pieces. Hundred and twenty for a new sealed piggy pirate ship. The Angry Bird sets didn't sell great when they first came out, but they do have some nice pieces in there for sure. I always like the cool pieces in a set. Oh, Will Lamb said, I called and asked if Champ was there. Yes, I think Michael was answering that. So. Exactly. Hey, so. Did you see that ghost over there? Oh, the ghost? The ghost? The ghost is it put out yet? It's right up there. Right oh, there. I'll, I'll go look at that in a second. We were going to go look at the Toy Story sets first. Can you shout out to my friend Vicky? Yes. So, Vicky, I'm uh, giving you a shout out today. This is Mark from... Atlanta Brick Co. and formerly Lego Masters, so hope you're having a great day. Your friend uh, Brennan was uh, wanting to reach out and let me let it, let have me let you know that uh, they care about you. So you have an excellent day. All right. How much were the VIP exclusive space coin? They're pretty expensive. I'll I'll circle back and check on that for you, Baby Yoda. Nexonites are beautiful, Mark. You can't deny it. I will always deny it, Will Lamb. You know I don't want the Nexonite virus. Very true, Will. No, no, Grumpy J, don't, don't say that. That's awful. 
So we only got one uh, Toy Story set right now, this uh, Buzz and Woody's Carnival Mania. We've also got some built ones in the case over here too, I'm oh, pretty sure. Oh my gosh, no. That's awesome. Did you have anything for us, Chris? Yeah, we restocked our train parts and, uh, you know, electronics. Yes. Like power function. I saw you working on that earlier today. And all that. We haven't put it online, but it's, uh, it's in the store if you want to kind of... Give it to her. Sure, will do, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. We've got a bunch of SpongeBob I gotta point out really quick before we head over there. We got the, the Rocket Ride. We got the Krusty Krabs, totally a classic set. We've got uh, the Mrs. Puff Boating School. The Bikini Bottom Undersea Party. With all the happy party characters. Love the Squidward, he looks so depressed, even with his flowery necklace. You've got the Heroic Heroes of the Deep. I remember that episode, it was hilarious. The Flying Dutchman, OMG. Oh, and we've got Glove World way back here. Let me pull that forward so people can see it. Glove World, so we have like a massive collection of SpongeBob sets right now. So if you like Sp SpongeBob, definitely look on the website. I'm sure these are all online. It's a very crazy. All right, um, Lehman Brooks was asking about the Panda Nursery. Let's look for that really quick over here. Here's the Pillager Outpost. And the nursery. Here's the shroom island, the mushroom island. Let's see. Oh, the panda nursery. Certified complete for $30. And it has those awesome panda minifigures. One full size one and one baby one. So very cool. Also an ocelot and Alex with a cake. Some bamboo sprouts. Very nice. So $29.99, $30. That's a steal now. It'll be more expensive later, I'm sure. Let's see here. Chris, are you working hard or hardly working? I'll ask him. I know that uh, Scott and Baby Yoda and others, Tegan, were saying hi too. You can't resist the pull of the dark side of Lego Castle type stuff, Mark. Oh no, yeah. Lego Castle is the, the, the best. It's the all-consuming black hole of everything. But yeah, so this is the stuff that um, we had worked on reorganizing. So we got all our train track here cleaned up. And over here, it used to be a big mess, and now it's very nicely displayed all of our train pieces. Nicely labeled and priced and restocked. I know a lot of people were asking about these over the past few live streams, so definitely check out our website. We'll be updating those quantities soon. Do you, do you want me to point out a few interesting things? If you'd like to, yeah. Yeah, there's one over there, there's one over there, and there's a couple right here. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Yep, you're welcome. Yep. Let me know if you need anything else. That was great. Appreciate it. <laughs> We've also got quite a few of our electronics parts reorganized and uh, boxed up nicely here. So these are used to be on our website. We'll see if we can update them again so that they're available for online orders too. At the very least, you could always give us a call and place an order. Sounds good, Joe. Thank you. So Joe will be updating these shortly. Let's see, where are we at on comments here? Lord of the Rings sets prices, please. Absolutely, Dr. Jaja. We'll check that out in a second. There's Corey. Hello, Corey. Thanks for joining us today. Beskar keychains new. Let's check on that, Baby Yoda. Um, Chris and Joe are busy with a register error. Let's see if I can go find one back here. We got a stack of them here in Chris's old desk area. Here's the, let's see if I can get them separated. This is Randy's desk. Oh, that looks beautiful. I've seen these sold for as low as $40 in the past, but I don't know what the price would be. I'll ask as soon as Chris is available for you, Baby Yoda. So, but we've got like four or five, or actually more than that. Probably almost 10 of them back there. So They just released the trailer for Rings of Power. Oh my gosh, I need to watch that. I have... Low expectations, but high hopes. The Rings of Power trailer just dropped, apparently. So, the Lord of the Rings Amazon project. Well, that, I mean, I get news late, so. You, you being all snooty over there, Michael? Just because I, I don't have any Wi-Fi at my house, in my shed where I live? Yeah. Including the Lonely Mountain. 
Wow. Uh, two days ago. A couple days ago. But he did trade in the Arkham Asylum up there. Okay, yeah. that's a good trade. And it's sealed. Nice. Oh, how much are the Beskar keychains these days now, Chris? Forty. Forty. Perfect. So there's still forty there, Baby Yoda. So. Is valuable. The, the Empire wants it, so it's uh, it's expensive. Oh, see, see, Michael. That's what you get for being all snooty. All right. Thank you, Corey. That's awesome news. Hopefully, it looks pretty cool. BJ gives us a, a wave and a smile. Good to see you, BJ. Thanks for tuning in. Chris McBricker says, "I'm looking forward to seeing trains." Thank you, Chris. You're welcome, Chris. Chris helping Chris out with the trains. And our gym wants these sealed Star Wars. Let's go look at that for us real quick. See if we can weave our way through all the shoppers today. Here we go. That was a mess when I saw it Wednesday. Yes, it was. It used to be pretty terrible. But uh, Vogan is working on the figures. That's why this little trace here. But it's all good. We've got some DO. You got the Bad Batch attack shuttle. You've got a certified complete, not sealed. Imperial TIE Fighter. You got a sealed AT-80. That's the old version. You've got the Trash Compactor. That's a set that I actually... I like it all right. It's a little bit compact, but I like it. That was a joke. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. We've got uh, the Hoth ATST. We've got the Child, a.k.a. the Baby Yoda. We've got three of them, so if you need one of those, we've got them. We've got the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. This one appears to be sealed. Yeah, new sealed. That's nice. This is a cool one. Hold on. Wow, hundred dollars for the ATRT from the original uh, 501st livery. There, you've got the Tie Fighter Pilot bust. Two hundred dollars. This is crazy. Oh my goodness, that one has gone up a lot. You've got Boba Fett's throne room. That should be retail. Let's check on that. Hundred dollars. Yeah, that sounds like retail. Oh, excuse me. You got the action battle Hoth generator attack. Got some more micro fighters and uh, battle packs in this area here. A few of them. Got the star scavenger, the Moloch's land speeder, the encounter on Jakku. Those are all from the sequels and solo, so you don't want to see those. Um, let's see. A couple build figures. Ooh. Trouble on Tatooine. The Star Cannon. Oh, and the Imperial Armored Marauder. That's nice. Those should all be, if they're still retail, they'll be that price. But if they've re retired, they'll have gone up. So, Let's see. Sealed Star Wars covered, mostly. Let's look at Lord of the Rings. A couple of people were asking about that. Let's see. Have I missed Top Shelf? Not yet, BJ. Oh, excuse me, guys. We'll look at that in a second, BJ. Let's look at Lord of the Rings right to my right here. How much was the good Arkham Asylum set? We'll look at that in a second, Nexus. That just came in recently. So we've got a couple certified complete Hobbit and Lord of the Rings sets here. This cool wizard duel here is going to be $69.99. we got a couple Witch King battles left here. They're pretty awesome. I think they're in the 80 89 $89.99, so $90, which is a lot, but those figures are worth it. Got all the figures. You got a built Shelob here. That one's $49.99. And most of the built sets are gone here, but we've got a few left. There's a $49.99 wizard duel there. There's a couple built landscapes from different scenes, going from anywhere from $30, $40. Um, we got a $15, $20. $20 tower in the back. So there's a couple scenes here. That's all we've got for Lord of the Rings right now, though. Just a cabinet with some cool figures and a few small sets. Gotcha. All right. And Corey was clarifying that the official Rings of Power uh, trailer dropped. The previous trailers were actually just teasers. Good to know. Let's see. Do you have any Han Solo metal keychains? We've had those in the past, but I don't think we have any right now just because... We got two or three of them when they first came out, and we haven't seen too many since. There's another Beskar one, ready to go. Don't see any on Solos, though. They would be right in this area if we had them. Crying because built Galaxy Squad tank just sold. Oh, no! Sorry about that, Lemur Bricks. Michael, you have no right to call anyone out after breaking Wally. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll let her know you said that, Nexus. That's hilarious. I'll go find him at some point. 30 likes, Mark. Oh, no! Great Awakening, you're right. It's almost the Nexus Night outfit time. If we get one more like, we have 34 likes. If we get one more like, then that's it. I gotta go change and put on that crazy outfit. I just got the Tron idea set for $20 at Goodwill. That's amazing, Build With Me. That's awesome. Oh, and we're at 35 likes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Do you have any UCS sets? That's a good question, Brennan. Let's go look at the top shelf and UCS, and then we'll make our way over to get the next night cape on. I don't see any UCS sets just browsing myself, but let's go over them anyway for BJ as well. Let me catch up with the comments while I'm doing this. Sorry to ask again, but what was the price of the VIP space coin? You're right, baby. Let me ask about that. As soon as we get to the bottom of the, or um, to the far right here. 200 for the TIE Fighter pilot? I don't want to open mine now. I know, right? What, Morgan, it's crazy expensive. Can we look at Star Wars buildable figs? In a second, Jaja. We've got a couple of things coming up here. It's time for the next armor, 36 likes. Yeah, we're at 38 now. It's crazy. Thank you, Gary. A night in says Nexo time. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, uh, Morbius says Morbin time. I say it's Nexo time. No? Nexo time? I think that needs to be a t-shirt. A picture of me with very dark circles and big fangs going, Nexo time. <laughs> I would, I, I, now I'm going to make a shirt. I'm sorry, guys. Bye, y'all. Got to go to VBS. You have fun, Will Lamb. So we got a ghost. We've got the Dreamliner. We've got the small Disney castle. Jurassic World. Racers. Police Ferrari. The uh, Minecraft Village. A couple of built Technic sets. Got the Lightning Dragon Battle. That's actually an awesome Ninjago set up there. Got a couple of classic and smaller sets here. Got some Castle, Avatar, Pirates. Got some Winter Village in the foreground. You got a massive Technic Bucket Wheel Excavator up there. You got the awesome Arkham Asylum. Joe, how much is that new Arkham Asylum? It's a couple hundred, I'm guessing. Joe is pulling up the price for us. It doesn't have to get up. You got the haunted house. You've got the Gungan sub, which is like 600 bucks. 350? That sounds like a pretty good deal. That's awesome. You got the yellow Ferrari. You got another Batman set over there. Insectoids, Rock Raiders, Aquazone, Dino Attack, Superheroes, and more. But no UCS. Oh, power... Powered up stuff is going online. It's awesome. All right. Lego Nexo time. Oh, uh, Jerry Houston had the Joe emoji and said time, so it's Joe time. I like that one. That's good. It was pizza time first, just saying. You're right, Nexus. It's always somebody's time. Yeah, I know. The ghost, the ghost, ghost be looking really good. Also, somebody said... Um, uh, what was it? Let's go back. Michael, you have no right to call out anyone after breaking Wally. <laughs> They're lying. <laughs> Nexus to Zach is lying. Okay. Nexus to Zach. One of our members, and they also uh, uh, Zach came in the other day too to drop off Daniel's shoes because he bought them. Oh, he got bought. What not? Yeah, he. Oh, yeah, he did. It's great. Somebody besides you broke it. Okay. We in Europe now have now a wave of old Nexo limited edition foil minifigures. That's cool. How much for the Star Wars ghost ship? How much is the ghost over there? 680? Yep. Wow. Expensive. All right. 39 likes. I got to go over and change. Hold on. Oh, Tegan is helping me out with the math here. He says 17 kilograms is 37 pounds, Mark. Thank you. So, little known fact, I am horrible at math. So, if any math problem comes up, I am helpless. So, thank you, Tegan. I'm good at most other things, just not math. I can barely do basic math. I can't read a round clock. That being said, I can read 300 words a minute at perfect recall. So, you know, different skills for different people. All right. You guys probably want to see this, so... I wore the red shirt today, so it looks just right. My buff shoulders. Oh, yes. 
Majestic. Oh. Red red wrist watch. I've got, I, I just got the drip going. I know. I, I, I'm like, I should wear red more often so that this happens. Oh, uh, Baby Yoda asked how much the space collectible coin was. Do we know what the price is on those? Well, I don't want to walk over here. Oh, $49.99 for you, Baby Yoda. For reminding me. Sorry it took so long. All right. Let's see. Lucky, says Grumpy J. Ninjago 10th, anniver 10th anniversary coin over here. That's $29.99. That's also really cool. And they're solid metal. They're really nice. Yeah, Mark, those are online. Yeah, so if you want to look at them online and get some detailed information, they're on our website, atlbrick.com. Got to check it out. Well, yeah, let me go look at the next tonight's. For Joe, it's spaghetti time. That's your... Um, I have it on this stream. Let's go get it. Thanks, Michael. See, Michael talks a big game, but he's really got a heart of gold. Take the pin out. Take the pin out. Look at that. Four ninety nine. Now they're available. Solid gold. <laughs> solid, no, um, solid metal. Solid metal. <laughs> yeah, Stainless steel. Yeah, well, sure. We'll, we'll go with that. They're more solid than Michael. It's true. No, but they're super shiny, super high quality. We're really impressed because we just we ordered them. They had them made, and they are premium. So really good. I have one of my own. Michael's got one. Proud, it's awesome. Proud yeah, exactly. These go great on your backpack or your shirt or whatever. Lanyard. Yep. Not on your skin. Not on your skin. Don't but, do that. Yeah, I'll give that back to you there, Michael. Thank you. Put on the lanyard. Pretty cheap. Lanyard. Yeah, that's a great, great use of it. Can't read an analog clock. That is correct, Gary. I got the great weakness. Apparently, Boone can't either. So, I feel better about that. But. Nexo time. It's Nexo time. Oh yeah, see? Appreciate it. I had <laughs> I had my phone to convert it, so I'm not very good either. <laughs> no problem, Tegan. You're better than I am. Alrighty, let's go look at some Nexo nights. There's a couple in this case over here. I'm probably gonna buy this one because it's 20% off right now, unless somebody else gets it before me. I'm at least waiting to the end of the stream so you could always pause and buy it if somebody wanted that one on sale. There's also another one here that's missing a piece or two, so I wouldn't recommend that one. There's that awesome um, Jestro chariot back there. It even has Jestro's figure with the book of monsters right there too. So that is a great deal for $49.99 plus 20% off. So crazy stuff, let's see. Looks good with your red t-shirt. Thank you, Tegan. I thought so, too. This is the best, uh, you know, look I've had with this armor for a long time. I think it makes sense. I mean, people were giving me compliments earlier. It was awesome. I mean, they were kids, but the same thing, you know. Do you guys do layaway or payments? Yes. So, Brennan, for, for most sets, um, it's about 20% of the value of the set you can put down and hold it for, I think it's a month or two. But that kind of, that policy is kind of variable, so just call the store and check, and you should be able to put down a payment and hold a set for an extended period of time. You're fine, it's okay if you take time. Thanks, baby Yoda, appreciate it. Mark, each dash on the clock is five minutes, so just skip count to the fives to see the time. I can't skip count, though. I'm just like, I look at it and I see a mystery. That's why I have this little digital clock, because that can read digital. But no, the round clock just messes with my poor little mind. Jerry says, hi, greetings from Singapore. Hope one day I can visit your store. Well, thanks, Jerry. Appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully one day you can visit. It's pretty awesome. My ABC pin is waiting for me to pick it up. Woohoo! That's awesome, Gary. Thanks for buying one. Built girl themes. Oh, yeah, that's a good question, Lyrics. Let's go look at those as soon as we're done with the next night's here. Sorry, I forgot. How much was the Black Widow? Oh, that was 75, I think, Baby Yoda. Do you have the Steamboat Willie set with Mickey and Minnie? I will check for your Otter Kitty. Hold on one second. I know we had the Steamboat Willie build up here. Excuse me, guys. We got the build right here for $69.99, but I don't see the figures on it, which means we might not have them on the set. We do have the figures separately over in the mini, um, collectible minifig section. Got to go, Mark. Have a good weekend. See you in the next stream. Thanks, Tegan. You too. You have a great one. <laughs> great Awakening Team Denmark says, good fun. Yes, it is good fun. I, the streams have become a lot more fun with the like counts and the crazy outfits. I think I need to get a few more crazy outfits so we have stretch goals even past 35 likes. 20% off the Nexa. How is this still on the shelves? I know, right, Grumpy J? I, I have been... What was that? 
I need, I need a furry tail and ears. Is that what I need? There you go. Oh my goodness. I had a feeling you were secretly a Nexa lover. <laughs> oh no, Chris. I'm just, I'm making the most out of a bad situation. That's all I'm doing. Everybody's a secret Nexa lover. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, thank you. Got to go. Bye. See you, Baby Yoda. You have a good one. We've still got about 20 minutes left in the stream, so... There's no need to run off if you don't want to. But if you gotta go, you gotta go. We get it, so... What's the most desirable thing in the store right now, in your opinion, Mark? Good question. Say this ghost right over here. The ghost yeah, is so yeah, yeah, Michael brings up a good point. The ghost is super desirable. I think the Gungan sub makes a good case for itself too. If you're an, if you're a Ninjago fan, that uh, big dragon looks pretty awesome too. The lightning dragon. That's a. I, oh, in the Arkham Asylum, feel like we got something for every fandom. I think. It's yeah, mini modular sets. You got the Avatar set over there. For the anime people. I know Avatar isn't technically anime, but it, it's close enough. Any new retired Marvel stuff? Let's go look, Brian. Let's go check it out. We are all Next to Knights. There we go. That's awesome. Everyone loves Next to Knights except me. But here I am. Playing along. Bye, Baby Yoda. This is Dr. Jaja. Just got a notification on my phone suggesting Lord of the Rings trailer from Amazon Prime. There you go, Scott. <laughs> I still need to watch it. I'll watch it after the stream, because I am. I, I, I hope it's good. I hope it's good, but I'm, I wouldn't be that surprised if it wasn't that good. Sometimes shows aren't done exactly what we expect. So. Sir Mark of Nexo. Oh, no. Don't, don't start with that. All right. Let's look at um, over here in the Marvel section. TF set 6866. Is it still sold out there? Oh, I don't know, um, Brian. Uh, if you could give me the set title, that would help narrow it down. I don't know the Marvel set numbers by heart. So, any new Rock Raiders? Not that I know of KFP visuals, but I'm glad you asked just because I love Rock Raiders. The Ghost Faux Show. Yeah, Jerry, that, that's probably our most desirable set right now. I didn't ask Michael's opinion. I asked you, Mark. <laughs> well, we, we talked about a number of sets that are very desirable. There's, there's plenty in the store that's really cool. Uh, for me... I'd probably get one of those big Minecraft sets just because they're so valuable and expensive. All right, let's see. Admit that the true most desirable sets in the, are in fact the village Minecraft. <laughs> I just said I'd probably get a big Minecraft set, Liam Bricks. That's true. Do you have the Imperial dropships with the Shadow Trooper and the price, please? Probably not, Dr. Jaja, but let's take a quick look on the built Star Wars nonetheless. Tie Tie the Goat. Do you have the Red Dragon from set 70403 for sale separately? Thanks. We've got a couple of Red Dragons. I'm not sure if it's the right one, but we'll go look at that after we built Star Wars. Wolverine Chopper Showdown. Oh, yes. So we've had that one in the past not too long ago, but I'm pretty sure we don't have one in stock right now. Thank you for um, mentioning the title, though, Brian. That helps me a lot. Samuel Smith says, Hi, Jaja. Must be friends. All right. The Lord of the Rings trailer may be good, but it's still no Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Yeah, Jack Sparrow is pretty hilarious. How much for the Han Solo rug? Oh, I don't know, Brennan. No one's ever asked to buy it. We got it on eBay. It's probably easiest to get it there versus a very used one here. But um, do you have any Cloud City minifigs in your store? We don't think so. We have the Dagobah Luke. We might have a... Mace Windu? No. Let's see. We got a couple these windows. And these. No, no, I don't think we do right now, uh, Nexus. But it's worth worth asking for sure because they're pretty awesome. And I don't think we have the dropship with the Shadow Trooper right now because I'm not seeing. Well, there's there is a dropship I think. No figures though. Sixty nine ninety nine. I'm surprised you haven't tried to sell the rug on whatnot. We could do that next time we do a Star Wars one. It's the one set I want, man, it is so hard to come by nowadays. I hear you, Brian. There's some super rare sets. Oh, and Brennan was asking, do you have Voltron? That's another super rare set. We don't have one right now, but we had one in probably a month ago, and it was super awesome. It sold right away, too. Built girl themes. Yes, you are right, Lemur Bricks. Let's go look at that. How much is the LEGO Guess Who game? Oh, did you see one here, uh, Scott Robinson? I didn't see it. Let me know where it is, and I'll go check it out. Uh -huh. 
Solo story, Hans Speeder with the blue one. Oh, we can go check on the price on that too, uh, Grumpy Jays. Probably 40 or 50 now. Maybe more. A lot of Star Wars is more. The Built Girl themes are occupied with customers shopping, so we'll go there as soon as they're done. Let's go look at the Solo Speeder while we're waiting. Um, I thought we had that one. Maybe we don't. We might be out of it. There's the larger one that's gray, less cool looking than the solo one. And usually we had it tucked away down here, but I'm not seeing it. Got a couple um, Lars Homestead sets still. Mark, please show the poly bags. Good point there, Sim. I'll look at those for a second. We've got a big wall of them right here. And these are usually $9.99 or less. There might be one or two that's more than that. Like there's, for example, a $14.99 Harry Potter poly bag. A lot of these are $9.99, $11.99 for the Lego movie one. Do you guys ever do trade-ins for everything or do you turn down certain themes that you have too much of? I mean, we rarely, rarely say no to a trade. Only every now and then when we don't need something, we'll actually not need it. We'll just probably just offer just a little bit lower if we really don't want it. And they could still trade it in if they wanted to, or they could say, no, I think it's worth more and save for later. So. It should be by the other LEGO board games if it hasn't sold already. Let's go check on that, Skyrim. That's pretty cool. Do you have a Shadow Stormtrooper or a Stormtrooper Shock Trooper? We should have those, uh, Dr. Jaja. We've had them not too long ago. You can always check atlbrick.com and find out by typing in those keywords. Let's see, here we go. Oh, this isn't Guess Who. This is something else. Oh, the Lego Ludo game. I don't know what that is. Must be something they do in Europe. Let's see. There's RoboChamp. Chima, Race, Paracode, Mint, Minotaurus. Chima? Wait a minute, there's a Chima? This is cool. Tribal battle game to collect chi. I love the build, too. All right, well, yeah, I don't see, um, I see Creationary in the back there. See, so, yeah, I don't see it there, Scott Robinson. Might be sold. That would be pretty sad. Do you have the Wright Brothers plane? I think it's an idea set. I remember that one, but I don't think we have one right now. So we'll check on that here. We've got a bunch of the biplanes, but not the Wright Brothers plane. Let's see, how much are the HP poly bags? Um, the one that I saw was $14.99, but I think we could easily find them as low as $7.99 over there. Let's head over there here. Do you guys have an apop Apocalypseburg Harley Quinn? I don't think so, KPF visuals, but we'll go look at the DC figures as soon as we're done here. And double check. Yeah, there's a 7.99 with Harry at the train station. You've got a 9.99 Her Hermione study desk, 14.99 Harry Potter and some potions. And that's, I think, it for the Harry Potter ones. Oh, no, well, not, that's a, just a Christmas train. Got some Marvel, City, Lego Movie, Ninjago, Elves. Oh, that's cool, there's an Elves poly bag. $14.99. Do you have the Sop with Camel? If you do, how much? Let's check on that, Brennan. Hold on one second. Excuse me, guys. So you got the old school one right there, that's 189. You got the newer version, which I don't see the price on that one. You might have to discover what the price that is. Then you got the, the German triplane here, that one is 279. They don't have terrific good stickers. This one's stickers are good. This one is not so good. This one doesn't have stickers at all. He's missing that white one right there. But pretty cool nonetheless. Let's go check the built girl themes for lemur bricks. I think it's clear now so we can go check it out. Let's 
Excuse me, guys. Let's start over in the elves section here. You got some boxed elf sets. You got the display cases in the back. Top. You got these awesome built sets here. This one, you have all these keys you put in. And then the portal, you can open and close by turning a dial. It's pretty awesome. You got this elves tree house, the cool purple leaves. Elves built dragons, some more dragons down here. They go from anywhere from $80 to $60. Super expensive. Further down, you got some elves animals, the little display. Most of the other elves sets are in the box because they're just super expensive and collectible. You've got a frozen castle down here for $49.99. You've got the Cinderella's Dream Castle. That one is $49.99 built. It's probably a little bit more in the box behind it. You've got a $34.99 Rapunzel's Tower. You've got some more frozen builds here. I think that's also a Moana build down there. You go from anywhere from $25 to $50. You got some Trolls World Tour sets up here. You got some Friends Cars. Looks like a Friends High School, Friends Plane, Hot Air Balloon. They range from $4.99 to $14.99 to $20. You got a Heart Lake Shopping Mall. Some more hot air balloons, some boats and other accessories. You got a Pirate Ship Ride. You got a house. Looks like a juice or a um, restaurant here. I was going to say juice bar, but it's a restaurant. Got a hospital and a few other friend sets in there too. Let's see, no foil packs. Not that I know of. Oh, um, the CMF ones. We do have a few CMF figures over here. Oh, we did. I think we have a few left in the DC themes. That's about it. We got some Unikitty ones here. Some video over here. More Unikitty. Some dots, and we don't have any CMFs. They always sell pretty quickly in the bags. So. Do you have the amazing Lego goat? No goats, but a lot of other animals, Samuel. Can we look at the accessories? We can look at them, but we can't really look too closely at them because they're all in the glass here. So these are all on our website, atlbrick.com. You can get pretty much all these for dollars a piece, sometimes just cents a piece. Pretty awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that bad boy right there. Just showed up randomly. It's like calling you. It's got the Zeb. It's got the Hera. Kanan. And the Stormtrooper. Oh, yeah. The Stormtrooper makes the set. Makes the set. That's the rarest figure for sure. That's awesome. Let me see the back of the set. Turn it around here. Let's get a good 360. If one of you people have a Phantom at all, hook it up. Yep. There you go, two and one right there. It's like a combo set. It's like a combo set. That's awesome. You know, they did, um, they did one big box. They did, they did two and one. Like, you know, really? So they did a ghost and a phantom combined. Nice. And it's so hard to find. Man. I bet, it's I so bet. That's probably find. another couple hundred dollars for yeah, sure. So. absolutely. That's crazy. But this is fabulous. And it's about as affordable as you can get it because it's certified pre-owned. Certified pre-owned. Everything that's in there is going to be all great quality. Yep. Sounds good. That's good, Michael. Good job I'm selling that set. Pitch this idea one more time. Exactly. We still got a few minutes. All right, here's a lot of the accessories that are not on the website. These are the ones that we'll use to complete sets. Or if you're in the store, you can ask for a specific item and we can get it for you. Usually about a dollar a piece. Sometimes more if it's rare, but yeah, most accessories are a dollar. Let's see here. Hey, Mark, I joined not long ago, but there are... Over 35 likes. Are you wearing the armor? Yes, I am, Samuel. Glad you brought that up. As soon as we hit about 36, between 36 and 39, it all happened very quickly. I got this awesome armor, and I've got my red t-shirt going on. So I think I look pretty majestic, just saying. I uh, was smart and wore my red, which goes great with the red armor. Any wolf pack or dragon knights? Let's go look at that here. I think those are the ones that Daniel is currently working on. So they'll be out soon. Actually, let me take you in the back and point them out to you here. Let's see. I got the UFO set Alien Avenger at a Lego shop in Hamburg for $32 on Tuesday. How much would it cost in your shop? More than that. I think we sold them for $100 when they were complete and had instructions. So that was a great deal, Morgoth. 
That was his name on YouTube. No. Is it Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Nice. You know Mor who Sauron is? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, the bad yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. Morgoth was the big bad guy. So, was see, he was, he was getting Sauron to do the evil. He was like the devil well, then. No, so Sauron took the same power after Morgoth fell. Mm -hmm. Morgoth was the big bad. The big like bad. Way darker and evil. Wow. More awful than after Sauron. He fell, Sauron came gotcha. He was a lieutenant. Very cool. Awesome. I'll be nice to Morgoth. Sounds good. Brick Bro says, what's your favorite creator set? Obviously, the Creator 31 Castle. Is that even a question? I mean, yeah, obviously. I'm a castle guy. Does the ghost come with the black hair cannon? No, it does not, Morgan. I'm sorry. But here's what Daniel's been working on. We've got these castle figures. And he's been putting out both the Dragon Knights and the Wolf Pack. As well as the Lion Knights, all 150 of them. The Crusaders, and you got the Falcon Knights. Royal Knights, Classic Castle Knights, F more Foresters up in the top. These are all going to be on our website soon. Ask Daniel if he's wearing the shoes while you're back there. Nexus asks if no, you're... No, I'm wearing these shoes today. He's wearing his gray wearing ones. ones. There you go. Can we look at the Fantasy Era? That's what Daniel's working on, too. It's all kind of tucked away back here. But we'll have those out soon for you, Dr. Jaja. Soon is a relative term. Soon, fool you. soon is in probably before the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that sounds right. Okay. That's a good benchmark. Then you can only be pleasantly surprised. Exactly. Joe is looking up power up, powered up motors. Yes. He's getting all the prices for all the battery boxes and such. Yeah, I'm just updating the quantities and prices mm -hmm. online. Sabine is top. Sabine Wren? Did he say Sabine hot? He said top. But that might that might kind of be what's implied with that sentence there, so. I'm late, but I'm here. You are here. Glad you made it, Kinga and Jacob. I love that red membership logo next to you guys' name. Looks great. There's the parrot, too. One more like, and Mark will sing Nexo praises. Nope. That is not correct. <laughs> we are at 51 likes, though, so technically I should go buy something. I think I could do that. Let me go get um, some keys here. Uh, Joe or Vogan, can one of you guys grab me a key over here? I gotta go. We're at 51 likes. You know the rules. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vogan. Let's go look at the next nights. Did Joe happen to pick up a controller for my Volvo wheel bucket loader? I can ask Brad P. That's a good question. There's probably one over there. Ain't in a da dangerous to be on a rolly chair on a platform. It is, but he's got a border all the way around that keeps the chair from rolling off. So it's pretty good. They would be very dangerous if it wasn't that way. Did you have the Red Dragon? Oh, uh, I forgot about it, Ty. Ty, let's go look at it here. Before I buy a next night figure, we'll go look at uh, the dragons here. Because we briefly looked at Castle, but not long enough to study the dragons. So if I'm thinking correctly, you're talking about a Red Dragon. And I think it's from the newer Castle line, like these guys. So let me go look here. We got one there for $89.99. That's a very expensive red dragon right there. You've also got this uh, Viking dragon for $49.99. <laughs> can I pick the figure you have to buy? You can suggest a figure that I have to buy. That would be good. You've got some dark red dragons for $69.99. I think they're both the same price. Yes. They're pretty cool. Those are from the earlier Fantasy Era line. And then you've got the uh, another Viking Dragon here, too. So those ones are actually super cool because they're for a little bit older sets. They're from like 2007, 2008. We love the, the cool logo colors. What is After Red? Oh, After Red, I'm thinking, is either green, and I think yellow is the last one, like gold. So you have green. You might have a white one, too, white on black. But you got a couple more colors that come up later. So thank you guys for supporting the channel for so long. The longer you stay, the cooler your badge becomes and more exclusive it becomes. So thank you guys. That's it. Thanks. The red one. Yep. There you go, Ty. Sorry it's a little pricey, but this pretty cool dragon. Do they make a Lego ukulele? They don't in like human size, but I think they do in minifigure scale. Some of those CMFs might have one. Little Robin for the win. Exactly. I think Grumpy J should pick Mark. Well, no, they're so expensive. I don't want to do... Uh, no, I don't know. Let me pick something out here. 
I actually, I know exactly what I want to get. We're getting a little thin on Nexonites here, but this bad boy right here is calling my name. He is screeching out, Mac, Mac, Mac. He's a little scurrier, and he's five ninety nine, so super affordable. So that's what I'm gonna get. Fifty four likes, absolutely. Has a customer ever stolen anything? Every now and then that happens, but it's not too bad. We've got cameras and we've got a lot of employees keeping an eye on things, so it's not too bad. Yes, I love him, says Grumpy J. He's pretty awesome. Let me go get my wallet. Actually, no, I've got store credit. I can have Joe take it off my store credit today. That'll save me some money. I mean, it's not too bad. Six bucks isn't too bad, but. Awesome fig choice mark. Yeah, he is really radical looking. Let's bring him over here. Excuse me, guys. Oh, sorry, buddy. Can I get this off of my store credit? I should have a small gift card for 16. Yeah, and he's only 5.99. So, I know. We got up past 54 likes, so I had to buy something. It's Star Wars, right? No. It's next tonight's. But yeah, no. So, uh, Michael, you should be able to go back there, look up the gift cards, look under my name. I think I have a 16. Okay. okay. Do we, do we need to get Joe? No, we don't need Joe. Okay. Because I don't have the QR code. You might have to... How much was He was uh, 599 but he's a scurrier. 599 I don't know if he's online. I need an army of these guys. I know, right? If you get 69 likes, buy a Nexo set. Oh, man. It was five ninety nine. Yeah, so six dollars. Hmm. Oh my gosh, Baby Yoda was asking about that earlier. Yeah, that's the real deal right there. That's him. Both blasters, pauldron. Amazing. Helmet. Beauty. Awesome. What's that doing behind your ear? That's like two hundred dollars. It was right behind my ear. Joe's gonna put oh that one goodness. online right now, too. Literally just got this in. That's awesome. Uh, Mark, are you planning on getting the new Lion Knight Castle? Absolutely. At least one, maybe two. How much for a gift card? Uh, there's a lot of gift cards. Yeah. Uh, for, for Mark Erickson? Yeah. Just uh, There should be a small one. There should be a small one for 16. Okay. Sounds good. Because I don't want to have to go get my wallet and stuff. But yeah, he's mine now. <laughs> there we go. Bring him over. Put him in my next night pile over here. Back in my office. There we go. He'll look great next to his big cousin. Awesome. Mark, keep smuggling figs. Need to watch him, Chris. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm a fig smuggler. Illegal fig smuggling. I'm going to get that for my bro. Yeah, we should have more of those. Chris... Have you started my shirt yet? LOL. <laughs> we need to make some next night shirts. And some Grumpy J shirts. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Oh, I did? Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. All right. We have been saving our VIP points for it. Awesome. And Keller Hammer just said hi and donated $2. Thank you, Keller. Appreciate it. What Nexus is act? Let's see. What did Nexus is act say? The mad rush for phase two. Rex begins. Yes, he should be online soon, and you can buy him. You can also, if he's, if we find the listing, you can add "remind me when back in stock," and that way you get notified as soon as it gets put on. Let's see here. Do you have the sanctum sealed? I don't think so. We go over and look at Marvel here. We're running out of time, but we'll check one or two more things. No Sanctum, because it would be right up here if we had it. Hello, Mark. I did place an order for a custom Grumpy shirt to be made by you guys. Oh, okay. So I haven't been informed of that, but we'll uh, we'll we'll get that done for you. No problem, Grumpy J. Appreciate it. You, we'll, we'll take care of you. No problem. All right. We are closing down on 60 minutes. There we go. And that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thank you for joining in. We will see you guys next Tuesday for another live stream. 
as well as a bunch of other ones. We've got the hall on Monday mornings. We've got the morning brick on Wednesdays. We've got the Thursday night joy of building. We've got the Friday streams. Oh my goodness, we got so many cool videos coming out. We will see you guys next time. Y'all have a good one.